Hello, you're all very welcome back to day 19 of our 33-day novena. And today we focus in on the Virgin Mary and we are under our consecration to her and we're asked to reflect on what that consecration means for us in our own lives. The Virgin Mary said yes at the Annunciation. Now we are asked to say yes to Mary as we are encouraged to make our consecration to her. Mother Teresa tells us that Mary was always pondering in her heart. Her pondering shows how Mary saw God. The prayer of the Magnificat of Mary is a prayer of prayer of thanksgiving and praise for all God's blessings. Mother Teresa also tells us that St. Ignatius of Loyola was also aware of God's blessings and his love and his mercy upon us all. And so we look at chapter 19, day 19, heart pondering prayer. Are you ready for your consecration to Mary? If not, then get ready. As I said at the beginning, after consecration day, everything changes. A gloriously new day dawns in our spiritual lives. Indeed, when we say, when we give Mary our yes, she begins to arrange all the events and details of our lives in such a beautiful, tender and loving ways. So we need to get ready. Specifically, we need to get ready to recognise the multitude of mercies that will come to us through her spouse, the Holy Spirit. Very often, we don't recognise the many gifts that God pours out to us in our daily lives. What we do recognise are daily annoyances, burdens, difficulties and inconveniences. These win our attention. These get us complaining. These get us in bad mood and sap our energy. Wouldn't it be a tragedy if after we started receiving even more gifts and graces through our consecration, we didn't change this negative attitude. Yes, it would be. So we need to get ready. And Mother Teresa will help us. Mother Teresa lived in some of the poorest environments on earth. She ha had to put up with burning heat, bad breath, stuffy rooms, nagging fatigue, endless responsibilities, bland food, hard beds, body odour, cold water bathing and an agonisingly deep spiritual aridity. Yet despite all these, she radiated joy, she smiled. She marvelled at the good things God did in her life and in the lives of others and she pondered the countless loving details arranged by Our Lady. Seeing and, rec and recognising all this, she didn't complain. How did Mother Teresa develop such spiritual sensitivity and an attitude of gratitude? What was her secret? Two things. Number one, first of all, she followed the example of Mary who was always pondering in her heart the good things that God was doing in her life. Of course, like Mother Teresa, Mary also lived in poverty and surely bore her share of darkness in prayer. Yet she also found God in the details, pondered his goodness in her heart and responded with praise, Magnificat. Indeed, she praised and thanked God in all things because she found God in all things and pondered deeply in her heart his many signs of love. Second, Mother Teresa followed the example of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the soldier saint and master of practical prayer. Specifically, she lived his method of making daily examination of conscience 
whereby one reviews the day at the end of the day in the presence of the Lord. Contrary to what people think about the examination of conscience, it's not simply a laundry list of sins. In fact, Ignatius directs people to spend most of their time reflecting not on their sins, but on the blessings of the day. It's really an exercise in recognising the good things God is doing in our lives and how we are or are not responding to his love. It's an imitation, it's a limitation of Mary's, it's an imitation of Mary's attitude of heart-pondering prayer. God is always showering his love and mercy down on, him, on us in so many ways. It's important that we begin to recognise these blessings and thank him for them, especially because this shower of blessings is going to turn into a torrent of grace once we consecrate ourselves to Mary. So let's get ready. Let's remember that, according to Mother Teresa, one important way that we live out our consecration is by recognising God's blessings and pondering them with Mary, deeply in our hearts. Such heart-rendering prayer leads to praise and thanks, and praise and thanks sets us on fire with divine love. And so we pray. Come, Holy Spirit, living with Mary, help me to recognise and ponder in my heart all the good you do for me. Amen.